Hi everyone, it's Sapphire. And I'm Sky. This is my sister Sky. You've probably seen her in a few of my videos, which include my cover of Black Magic and Uptown Funk, where we cover songs together. And today, in this Tuesday vlog, we are going to be doing a book review. We hope you enjoy this video. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to Sky's channel. I will leave her YouTube link in the description below. Please also make sure you recommend your favourite books in the comments and we'll make sure we can try and review as many as we can. Hope you enjoy the video, let's get on with the video! Absolutely, books are amazing. My first book <laughs> is Storm Horse, if you can see that. Um, now this is a really good book, it's, it's very emotional, like really emotional. Um, the be beginning's a bit taken aback, like suddenly just hit by this emotion and then it's a really good story because you can really get into the character and you find a lot ab out about them so who's it by and what review would you give it and what would you like it changed so this book is by Nick Garlic <laughs> and um, I wouldn't change anything in this book okay. yeah but it's really really good and what age rating would you give it I would probably give it an A+. Plus. An A+. Plus. Okay, thank you very much Sky for your review. Thank you. So, now I'm going to be doing my book and this is Love Tanya by Tanya Bear. I loved this book, I thought it was extremely well written and I loved all the tips that were given in this. So this is a book that's got some bits about Tanya's life. Tanya is a YouTuber. If you haven't checked her out, check her as well because she is an awesome writer, as you can see, and she's an awesome YouTuber and I think her videos are fantastic. Make sure you go and subscribe to her, so she is Tanya Burr. She's good. So, this has got some of her life story. It's also got beauty tips, skincare tips, fashion tips, love tips and YouTube tips and baking recipes. It's super awesome, I loved reading it and it's really good. I have made some of the cupcakes from this book and they were amazing, they were super super squishy and I absolutely loved it. And I wouldn't change any of this book and my age rating for this, I think anybody could read this book so I'd say about 8 plus. Yes! I can read it! I can read it. <laughs> So it's got some awesome things, so it's also got pictures of her as well. She's really pretty. I find that lo I've used a few of her like hair tips and her beauty tips and stuff and they have really really worked and I've found a massive difference in the way my hair is. Love. I love that word. Love. Love. <laughs> okay, so my second book is Tom Gates Extra Special Treats. Now this, well, with a knot in a bracket, like so the actual so Tom Gates extra special treats not yeah that's it so this is actually a really special treat for me because it's signed <gasps> and I absolutely love this writer her name is Liz Pitchon and she is amazing I really love her writing she's really good and there's a big series of this um, this book is incredible and it's really funny. It's about a boy obviously called Tom and his friend called Derek and uh, it's just really like a model or something. Or yes, I'm Dior. modelling the book off for Dior. you. <laughs> and Dior. Dior. <laughs> or oh, Tom Gates. Tom Gates. Best series. No, no. Because you're worth it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's really, really good and there's some really cool drawings. It's like really good and really it's like funny. comic book yeah. my review i just it's really funny so it's always like you cannot stop laughing and it's it doesn't take me that long to read because it's like such a funny book and you really get gripped into it all the snow means i get a day off school yeah shame i have to spend it with marcus who is very annoying Uncle Kevin thinks it's a very good idea to have a family portrait done for the fossils, which are their grand his grandparents. 50th and a wedding anniversary, which is not my idea of a present. Delia, who is um, his sister, is not keen either. She's being super grumpy. No change there then. So it's like, it's really funny. But yeah, it's a really good book and I would say people 
seven plus can read it. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. This is incredible. As you can see, it is a motion picture and it's incredible. It's basically about a young... Stop. I'm a book thief. Very, very clever. Stop! <sighs> so it's about a young girl called Liesel who is in the World War Two. So she is nine at the beginning of the book and by the end of the book she is 15. This is narrated by Death who is the person who takes your life when you are in pain or there is a war and he'll take your life. So he's been following Liesel around because he meets her three times. I won't give you, I won't tell you who he, how he sees her, because otherwise that'd be spoiling the book. But it is very, very sad, but extremely interesting at the same time. I found that I, I, I just know so much about how life was in the war. So, Liesel goes to live with a foster family. So the foster family also take in a Jew to save his life, and he lives in the basement, and Liesel becomes his best, best friend. So this is an incredible story, very gripping, I could not put it down. I definitely recommend this for 12 plus because it is quite intense, I'm sorry. I've, you I've have seen to wait. the film. I know, but it's it's different. It's, diff it's very different to the film. It's got the same storyline, but the um, intensity is it's really intense in this book compared to the film. And if anything, I actually think it's sadder in the book. And I also learned some German. <laughs> So this is Million Dollar Mates by Kathy Hopkins. This is a really, really good book. So I'll tell you the story. I'm going to read you the description because it is actually a really good description. Compared to most books, it's a really good description on the back and you get the story. There are three girls who are best friends. You have Jess, Alicia and Pia. There are pictures on the back of the girls. So it says, Jess Hall is going up market. Her dad got a new job at number one Porchester Park, the luxury city apartment block, and he's moving Jess, her brother, and her pet cat Dave in with him. Mm. Jess isn't too sure about moving away from her school friends or her beloved gran until she learns the apartments are strictly A-list only and soon to be populated by actors, musicians, models, and millionaires. A life of glitz and glamour surely beckons, but will her new million dollar mates be all they're cracked up to be? So it's really good, it's a story about romance, there's a bit of comedy, and it's really fun and girly. I really, Hello. really enjoyed this book. My age rating for this would be 11 plus. I think this was really good, really fun, and I'm definitely going to read the series. Okay, so this book is called Home for Shimmer, and it's really, really sweet. It's about this girl called Amy and basically they have to move away to Silverbrook Farm. Oh my god. That's right. a pretty yep. place. I it like is. the sound of that. A very pretty place and it has like barns uh, uh, um, on the outside of it. And Amy would like to convert it because her father is a vet. Um, he like checks animals and stuff. I think you know what a vet is. But um, people are thinking that he's like an adoption centre basically. So like if there's an animal that needs like care, he um, can like take it in, but he's not, he's a vet. So um, she, Amy, has the idea of converting the barns into like a um, home for animals centre place. And they have they have a dog in called Shimmer, who's like a uh, what do you call them? A golden a little Labrador, isn't a it? A Labrador, yeah, like a golden kind of Labrador. And um, he's like really sweet and really cute. It's a really good story, and it's really touching and really nice. I really like it. Aww. So, so this sweet. book is by Kathy Hopkins, a bit like well, like Million Dollar Mates, and because it's really good and it's really. Um, well written. So this book, I loved it so much that it would be like really cool if there was like a series because I feel that there needs to be a series of all the animals. Good. And I would give it, I would say, eight plus. Ages eight plus. Nice. Okay.
This is my heartbeat song and I'm gonna play it Been so long I forgot how to turn it up Up, 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 all night long Ooh, up, 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 all night long So this book, which is my next one, is Heartside Bay book Never... Five. Be quiet! <laughs> so this book is the from the Heartside Bay series and this is Never a Perfect Moment which is book 5 by Kathy Cole so this is a really easy to read story. It's really small, really girly, really fun, and really romantic and comedic. Comi, or com com and it's got a com lot of comedy. And this story is about a young girl called Polly, and she's got a crush on this guy called Ollie. Polly <coughs> and Ollie. <coughs> if we put their names together, it would still be Polly or Ollie. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, good point. But everything seems to get in the way of them two having a date. So when they finally get round to it, well, Polly doesn't really think that they're meant to be. I can't wait to read all of the rest of the books. There are 12 books so far, and I l love this. It's really good, and I'm hoping to get to the next, the next one. And my age rating for this would be 12+. plus. I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was a really good book. So if you're looking for something really easy to read, then I definitely recommend this series or just this book. It's really good. Your leg! My leg. <laughs> Her leg. Hey, you look really tall now. <laughs> Slunch. <coughs> so, <laughs> stop it. You're in my okay, hair. so, this book, oh my gosh, I love it. This book is by Jess Bright, and the name of the book I should probably tell you, otherwise, you can't get it. <laughs> Well, I don't know the name, but the book is about two sisters. Oh, I shouldn't tell you that. Okay, so this book on the front cover it has a hand and a heart. And Stop it. <laughs> and inside the hand it says sister, and then underneath it says sister. Okay, it's guy, it's guy. Okay, so it's the name of the book is called Sister Sister, and on the front cover it says she's supposed to be my sister, not my en enemy. Sister Sister by Jess Bright. You're not my Emily. Emily, Emily. Ah! Okay, so the book is by Jess Bright. <laughs> Bright and fun. Enemy. Emily. <laughs> it's like today I said, instead of saying never, I said never. Never again. One is called Willow. No, I'll go from the beginning of the book. So there's a girl called Willow and her mum. They live together in a cottage, and um, next door to them they have neighbours, and the neighbours are twins, and they're really good um, friends with Willow. They're like best friends, and Willow goes to school and blah blah blah, just a normal life, everyday life until. Her mum's been getting strange letters from this weirdo guy. Weirdo guy. Weirdo guy. Oh, the weirdo guy's name is called Anthony, and he's been sending it's weird not, letters. It's not Anthony. There it is. It's Anthony. It's Anthony. Oh, look. Okay. Give it. Sky, I know it's spelt that way, but it's actually Anthony. Yeah. And. Oh, An Anthony. 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 Okay, so stop it. It's Anthony. Stop it, Anthony. No. It says Anthony. No, no, wait, wait. Let's ask Siri how you spell it. How do you spell Anthony? Anthony. A N T H O N Y. Yes! You are wrong, says Sky. <laughs> so the Anthony. Anthony <laughs> is actually Willow's father. <gasps> that was just a bit <laughs> wrong. Okay. Um, so he um, has another daughter and a son, and the daughter is called Bella. And Bella, she has a disease. It's basically where she can't use her bone marrow, so she needs. Mm, so she needs more bone marrow and. 
she has had many match tests and none of them have turned out to be. So, uh, Willow is the only one left who could possibly be um, the same. And Willow has a really bad fear of needles and blood. Really good book, really touching, really, really gripping. Literally, I couldn't put it down, could I? No, you couldn't. She just kept reading it. If I could, I would. Literally. I, I was on the airplane. Age rating, I would say a nine plus. Nine yeah. and a half plus. You have to be nine and six months plus. No, just a nine plus. Okay. <sighs> so, we hope so. we... <laughs> so we so hope. <laughs> so we <laughs> hope. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? So we hope you enjoyed our video, and we hope you enjoyed all the books and have fun reading them if you do choose to read them. Please make sure you recommend your favourite books in the comments below and please subscribe to Sky's channel, I'll leave her link in the bio, in the description below and also subscribe to me, please, that would be awesome. <clears throat> And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please make sure you tell us if you'd like more videos like this in the future hope you enjoyed the video lots of love from sky and, and sapphire. sapphire wait you said sky <laughs> i'm sky okay, yeah. that's love from sapphire <laughs>